Good morning, everyone. Um, we're going to do this beautiful uh, scene. This is a cove in Belfast, Maine. Uh, For those of you that are new, uh, my suggestion is to watch the video all the way through once and then uh, watch. You can paint along with it if you like. And remember that you could stop and go, you know, stop at any time you want, play it back and learn from it. Okay. All right. Let's move on where I did a workshop recently. Beautiful place. Uh, so let's drop in the sky, just the blue. We want the sky to be pretty plain because there's so much going on below. So you, you always consider the sky and keep it nice and simple in this case. All right, I dropped some uh, a, a raw sienna <clears throat> into that blue. That was Windsor blue that I used for the sky that gave me that green. So. Just painted those background trees and painted around a sailboat that I made. Uh, if you want to put some clouds in, just take a tissue and, uh, you know, just press out the clouds you want. Keep the edges nice and soft. All right, the water itself is uh, Windsor blue with a touch of cadmium red. And I'm just, just painting that in, painted around the few boats that I had in the harbor there. All right, I'm going to put the sand in. This is raw sienna with a touch of rose and a touch of blue. You put as much blue as you want to make it cool. In this case, it's pretty warm. This is going to be the warm, uh, sh the warm beach under the shadows. Okay. Uh, all right, there's a big clunk of rocks here. The big rocks. Just put in different colors. I started with raw sienna. I added some rose. I added some blue. You know, just just a bunch of different colors. Rocks are beautiful because they represent all these different colors. And you, we're going to go in later and isolate them and, and form the rocks. But for right now, we can paint that whole shape as one color. I'm adding a little bit of Windsor Blue, uh, particularly up close to the water where the light is stronger. They're going to be cooler. It's a nice cool light coming off the coast. All right, just paint that big shape. Let the colors all just merge. I'm going in with a towel, picking out a few highlights on some of the rocks. All right, putting in the big tree, I sh I'm showing you the dark edges of that big tree. So I'm starting there. You always, you know, with a tree, you can always start with light or dark and then go the other way. This one, I'm starting with the dark, that dark edge on the right. I'm putting that in, not finishing it, just basically putting, placing that dark green in there. Uh, and that dark green is ultramarine blue with uh, a touch of raw sienna in it. Now I'm adding, I added some arulian yellow to that mix for the lighter greens. You can see it in that photo there. So there's the lighter green, is the light's coming from the left, so it's lighting that uh, left edge of the of the tree. So I'm painting in all that dark. Remember to leave the sky holes. They're very, very important always. It's very dark up here close to the, to, close to the sky. So I'm going back to the dark green. Ultramarine with a touch of raw sienna, maybe a touch of aurelian yellow, depending on what you need. The bottom of this tree is very dark. It's not, no light at all down there. And I'm just sprinkling it through, putting in a few of the branches that extend over. Study out the photo, you get a good feel for it. Okay, I add a little quinacridone sienna to the green to make that dark. So it's a warm dark, so. All, all the holes you have, you can put branches through. You know, if, you, if they're too big, cover some of that up, okay? Get a nice sense for that tree hanging out over the water. All right, there's a lawn behind this tree. I should have painted that in first, but it's just a, just a bright green, okay? A uh, little touch of the Windsor Blue with some Aurelian Yellow, and then maybe a dab of raw sienna. I painted that down to where the rocks start, giving it a chance to dry. Then going back and painting the dark edges of this tree as it hangs over, going up, spotting some darks here and there throughout the, that big tree that's hanging out over. 
over the water. You want to see that whole shape of the tree, the rocks, and all of that as one shape against the beautiful light shape of the sky and water, okay? All right, I'm going in with some dark and I'm doing some negative painting around the top edge of the rocks. Just creating, I'm not, I'm not using the photo at all here. I'm not, you don't have to paint what you see there in the photo. Just make up some rocks, keep them big enough you don't need a much bunch of small little rocks. Nice negative shape there. Different size rocks. Different coloring. We're going to go down once that once that mass of rock dries. We'll go down and and you know really draw some lines, cracks in between. I'm using that dark to go up into the tree again so that the light, there's no light getting under there. So that's why this is all dark and it gives you a nice uh, a silhouette against the, the white, I'm um, sorry, the light grass that's in the background there. Okay. I added a pinch of yellow as the green grass comes towards the front where the light is stronger. The green is getting a little stronger. Okay. All right, I'm just using a dark uh, ultramarine, maybe a drop of quinciana, and I'm just drawing in some of these rocks. You don't need every one of them, you know, you just want to suggest these to, to get it all, uh, get a sense that there's a bunch of big rocks there. We're going to cover all this with a shadow as soon as this all sets up and dries. That big tree is casting a beautiful shadow down over everything, so and that helps join those big shapes against that light shape okay just keep you know just take take your time here you know just create some rocks some big ones you know try try not to have a bunch of small ones but some nice big rocks would be good all right some of it has some shadow on it i just spatted some you know, it's all, there's so much going on there, you know. All right, that's all. There's actually more than you need there. All right, here comes the big shadow. Now, this is just ultramarine with rose to make a deep violet. And I added a drop of raw sienna to gray it down. I didn't, I didn't want it to be bright violet. And you can add a little bit of uh, cobalt blue as well. Now you're painting this whole shape, but you want to leave some spots there. You can see where the light is light is getting through the trees. It's coming all the way down onto the beach, across the rocks. We'll tie all this together. All right, we want to add some blue to the bottom there where it gets cooler. little bit of ultramarine just shape some of those the lights that are coming through the you know through the trees you don't want them all to look the same or have the same edges or you know different sizes and all that nice warm color we put down for the beach is going to come through here so it's really nice a little bit of work on the edge there's some really dark rocks that are getting soaked on the on the edge of the rocks and that's creating a you know a little bit of um, dark edge there that we want and that's leading us right into the water just making this whole thing up here all right that's all going to come down onto the beach i just added a little bit of quincy and warm it up as as it's it's basically warm sand, you know, wet sand that's got dark, but still has some of the sand color in it. All right, don't have to be too fussy with it. Okay, still, you want it to look like it's covered with shadow, you know, that whole area. All right, I'm putting some color in the sails. 
I'm wetting it with just clear water here. And I'm wetting the shadow side, dropping some raw sienna in there, making my shape of the shadow. And then I'm going to drop some blue in there, cobalt blue, and join them together. So that it's a nice, warm, cool shape there. You know, you get the warmth with the raw sienna and the cool with the blue. You just let them mix. Gives you a nice, a nice sense of shadow folding on that shade, on that sail. All right, I'm putting in uh, a couple of boats in the background there. I'm just using some dark color. You can use a, you know, ultramarine with a, a little touch of uh, quinciana, uh, you know, anything you want back there. And they have a little mast on it and a little bit of a rigging there. Okay, there's another one over here. Just play some, you know, and we have a water line on these boats. I'm just using red part of the bow that's sticking out out of the water. Okay, uh, this one I'm going to put I'm gonna put a boot on it, a blue boot. The sail is down and wrapped up in a blue boot. Using a little bit of quinciana, raw sienna, putting the mast of the sailboat in. A little touch of gouache on that tip. The tips are all wrapped with, with a tight uh, seal tape or whatever. Okay. All right, we're pretty much done. You can see how nice that shadow looks under there, under the rocks. Uh, if you want, you could put some people sitting on those rocks using a little bit of gouache to create a reflection of that sailboat coming down. Okay. All right, it looks like we're pretty much done here. A little drop of uh, blue under there for the water line on that boat. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.